Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. Welcome to another edition of The Untold Truth in Detailing. Now, uh, throughout my years of detailing, I have spent a bunch of money advertising. I have definitely honed my advertising skills and figured out what works for me the best. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys a couple, I should say the two absolute most effective ways that I have advertised in my local area that got me phone calls. Now, what I mean by that is what you do with those phone calls is what makes the difference between being busy and having the work and not having the work. Now, once you get those phone calls, you can't just say, uh, I'm a detailer and, um, I can clean your car, um, I can come to you. No, you, you, you can't act that way, you can't do that. You really have to have some kind of a game plan or a um, sales pitch, if you will. You have to have all of your ducks in a row as far as what you're going to say to those people when they call. Um, you know, that's probably something that I can help you guys with. Uh, in another video, but what I wanted to share today is the two most effective um, local level advertising techniques, if you will, um, that I've ever, ever found. I mean, these two things I'm going to show you today are tried and true. They work every single time to make that phone ring. Now, it may not be the quality of, of, of customer you're looking for in every situation, but what you need is that telephone to ring. When it rings to you and you answer it, it is up to you at that point to say the things necessary to get the job. You got to qualify the customer. I'll do another video on that. You have to talk to them, feel them out, read them, and figure out what it is they want and what it is that you can do for them to basically get the money that they're willing to spend from them and into your pocket because ultimately that's what it's about. So if you want to get these leads, if you want them to call you, because here's the bottom line, once they have called you, you're in control of that. You can then present to them what they're looking for in a manner that they want it. So it is up to you to do with it what you can to secure that. Now again, in other videos I will help you to do, to do that. Um, and I'm also available, you know, 813-846-4406 uh, if you'd like to chat with me about ways that you can talk to people and approach them and, and that kind of thing. But these two simple, effective methods, actually and cheap, very, very inexpensive methods, uh, one of which is, is free, it just takes a little bit of your time, um, will get you those phone calls that you need. So if you're that guy that is complaining because he doesn't get any work and he's crying because he doesn't know how to get, get the jobs, well, these things are pretty simple. It's not, um, not rocket science. Um, you just have to know how to make them call you and that's what I'm trying to do for you um, but the bottom line is you don't necessarily want a tire kicker to call but if you are skilled in the sales aspect of a detailing business then you can most likely turn that tire kicker that doesn't understand what well, what they want, but beyond that, doesn't understand what goes into it to get the price where it could go. Um, you have to know, you have to have that information to share with them, to show them what the difference between you and the rest of the world is. You know, having your own identity uh, and building a reputation is really important, but when you're just starting out, these two simple ways will definitely get you phone calls. Um, so the first method is a Craigslist ad. Now, the first thing that most of you guys are thinking is, well, that's not the customers I want. Okay, so you have none now, right? 
if I can make the phone call happen for you that gives you the opportunity to talk to somebody to make a sale happen, that's better than sitting on your ass doing nothing, right? So, listen to this. Your Craigslist ad, and you can go in your local area Craigslist and you can look at all the other detailers' ads um, and you can see that most of them are illiterate and don't know how to type and spell correctly um, and they just put up a bunch of junk. Well, I have found that with a nicely laid out professional looking Craigslist ad with your logo at the top, the nice, um, the graphic of your logo at the top, uh, a brief description of you, um, letting people know that you're available, you can make it happen, uh, it is you that they'll deal with because that's pretty important. People want to deal with you and you only if they're calling you. They don't want to have to deal with someone and then uh, you know, someone on the phone or, or whatever and then have another person that they have to re-explain everything and deal with and doesn't know all the information. Uh, I have found that in this industry, people want to deal with the person doing the work. So uh, if you're a larger operation, you've already got this figured out. Um, but if you're a smaller operation, which is who I generally am trying to, to help with these videos uh, or someone getting started, uh, a nicely laid out Craigslist ad really, really helps a lot. Um, you want to give them enough information so that it is, it is, it is attractive to them and it uh, will make them want to call because of the way that it looks because uh, people want to deal with successful people they don't most people don't want to deal with people who have no clue what they're doing uh, aren't completely sure of themselves they don't have confidence uh, they don't want to deal with those people um, you know and the, and the biggest obstacle here is people don't know what it should cost for a quality job and that's where you come in and doing the sales so once you get the call you have to make it happen uh, this is not a magical fix to you doing nothing because you can't get any business. This is a magical fix to getting leads and phone calls so that you can make that happen. I can't sit on the phone for you and make it happen. However, I can tell you I land pretty much every phone call that comes in because I know what I'm talking about. I'm confident. I lead the phone call. I'm the professional. I know what I'm doing. We can make reality the customer's expectation uh, and the budget of the customer. If we can make all of that work, then I can make the sale for sure. Uh, if the customer just doesn't want to spend the money, I can also work it out so I can understand the customer's needs and break it all down so that uh, I can sell them a package that works for them at a lower price point that they're willing to pay. Uh, and you know, when a customer says, I don't have the money for that, that's generally a lie. Uh, they have the money or they wouldn't be calling you because this is a luxury ser service that we, uh, that we provide. So anyway, a quality Craigslist ad with your logo at the top, uh, a nice graphic of your logo, a brief description of you. Um, you want to keep it short and sweet but informational at the same time. Maybe lay out some basic packages, give a price range. You don't want to give a specific price for anything. I mean, you know, car sizes and car um, condition, you know, it's, it's subjective to what they put the car through and how often they get it detailed. Um, so you don't want to pinpoint a price because when you get there, it might be a little bit different than they say over the phone and you know the bottom line is if a customer says uh, it's not that bad it's that bad period that's like the red flag for me oh it's not that bad well what's not that bad bad to them that never cleans their car never like doesn't care and neglects it uh, is different than the not that bad from the hobbyist detailer that still has a hobbyist mindset that wants everything perfect, wants to spend all day on it, which you're losing money if you do that. Um, so it's different. Um, so you, you just have to make sure that when you're talking to them, it is, or when you're, when you're putting together this Craigslist ad, you're giving a variance of price 
uh, and a basic outline of packages. You can also, to keep it short so that they don't get bored, you want to put, you know, for additional information, please call. Um, I'd be more than happy to talk to you about, you know, what the vehicle needs and, you know, they don't need that much information. They want an overview of what's going on and who they're dealing with, and then they'll make the phone call. I can assure you that they will make these phone calls, and then, you know, you can sell them however you want. Uh, I looked to see if I had my old Craigslist ad. I haven't posted on Craigslist in a while, and um, just, you know, I've been fortunate and very successful in this detailing business, and now, you know, I stay very busy uh, doing detailing, and they just call me, and they just get my number, um, and they make the call. But... Uh, when I was trying to use Craigslist to attract customers, it worked very, very well. You know, a lot of those people that use Craigslist, it's a free service, so it's going to attract the person who probably doesn't want to pay a lot, but with the proper sales techniques uh, and the confidence in yourself, uh, you can you can really, really benefit from having a quality uh, Craigslist ad. So. I would recommend that you do that. Keep it short and sweet. Make it look professional. I do not have one that I could show you, um, and I'm not going to build one because I don't need it. So uh, the bottom line is if you build yourself a Craigslist ad, uh, make sure it's short and sweet and very informational at the same time, looking professional, uh, and all of that. Uh, definitely make sure it has your phone number, your web address, and that kind of thing in it. Uh, if you want me to look it over before you post it, I would have no problem critiquing that and then letting you know what I think. So this leads me to the number one way to get phone calls in the area that you want to work. I mean, these cost money, but they are amazing. Now, this right here... I'll go ahead and put this deal together real quick. This right here is a golden way to get phone calls. This, these are signs that I had made a long time ago. I paid roughly $2 a piece for these things. I bought a hundred of them. I can tell you that if you sell, if you start out where I've been telling you to start out at 35 bucks an hour, this sign costs two dollars. You put one sign out and you get one phone call from that sign, even at your bottom of the barrel, $35 detail, your basic service, this sign has paid for itself. Period. You cannot find a better, more effective way to find work, to get phone calls, to make money in your local area. The benefit to this versus the Craigslist ad is that you can literally put these signs in only the areas that you want to work. And the cool part about that is Put them there, they do all the work, and you get phone calls, you can sell jobs, and you can put them next to the nicer communities if you want. I mean, that's a, an idea. Now, I'll tell you this. This is littering, and I can tell you that I have never been in trouble. I've never even gotten a phone call from the county or the city or any of that in Virginia when I did it a whole lot and when I got here to Florida I did it a whole lot uh, I've never been in trouble for it um, I would use your own best judgment and you know keep in mind that you are literally lit, 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 you're literally literally lit, 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 lit. you're literally littering if you put these signs out however in my experience um, the city or the county will just come and pick them up and throw them away. Uh, I've never had a phone call, uh, never had anybody complain to me. Uh, I've had people watch me put them there and never had a problem. You can nail them to um, power line, you know, power poles, uh, trees, that kind of thing, or get the stands that they come with. 
uh, and you can stick them in the ground, which is what I recommend. Again, don't go damaging property. Don't, don't go nailing them to things that you know you feel like uh, would be damaging property. And again, you do this at your own risk. I mean, I assume, I assume zero responsibility for you doing this. I'm telling you from my own personal experience, these work the best. They cost about $2 a piece. I've never been in any trouble for using these. Uh, they look very professional. Uh, they're straight to the point. And that's the other thing. Don't put too much information on these signs. You want just enough information to grab their interest, um, show them what the, what you do, and how to contact you. It says auto and motorcycle detailing, 813-846-4406. That is it. That's it. That's all these things say. That is all the information I need to relay to the customer. These will get you phone calls, and if you can't make that phone call turn into a job, you need some help. You got a problem. And I will be helping you with that kind of thing. Uh, and I'm always available uh, to try to help, but I'm giving you the answers. Um, bottom line, I am giving you the answers on a silver platter for free. If you're not using these and you're not getting a nice quality professional looking Craigslist ad up on the internet, immediately you are doing yourself a major injustice and good luck to you if you're not doing these things these are simple they are effective they are awesome you'll get the phone calls what you do with those phone calls is up to you I'm more than happy to help in any way I can but those two simple ways are the best ways possible to get those phone calls. You do not need those discount websites. You do not need, and I'm, I'm trying to be politi politically correct and not mention any names. I don't need any you know, liability issues here. Um, you do not need any of those internet review sites. Um, you don't need to pay these people to get you phone calls because you can do it yourself with these two very simple, very, very effective ways that I just showed you. Now, if you don't use these, you don't agree with it, you're going to lose. Period. Do it. Uh, if you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. Yep. Same number that's on my side. Boom. I'm here to help. If you don't call me, or actually, you should probably just text me. Uh, I get a ton of phone calls. If it's something longer that you uh, need to talk about, um, send me a text, let me know, and I'll call you as soon as I can. I stay pretty busy, and since I've been putting my number out there, I've gotten a lot more phone calls. Um, let's try to do this over text if we can, or find me on Facebook, join Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, which is a group on Facebook. Uh, send us a request. We'll get you in there talking about my products, my processes, and that kind of thing. Um, I also uh, have outlined a lot of packages and that kind of thing. I help you guys grow your detailing business. I help you guys get started. Uh, I, you know, I got a lot of knowledge in here, and I want to help. I want to share it. Um, I just need you guys to get on board and uh, reach out. That's all it takes is um, you putting that effort out and trusting and supporting uh, what I got going on and I will do whatever I got to do uh, to make sure that um, I am giving you all of the quality information to make you become uh, the most successful that you can. You know, again, um, I can't change your personality or your psyche or you know how you feel about things um, and everything that I do here is you know, everything I'm sharing with you is from my own experience. I'm not just making things up and, and talking to the camera about them. These are things that I do. This is how I roll. And, you know, bottom line is, it may, you know, who knows? It worked for me. All these things, I have, I have gone from nothing to a lot. And, you know, I have honed my skills over the years. And I'm sharing that stuff with you guys um, I appreciate you guys for watching, uh, your support, uh, all that 
Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate everything. Uh, you know, the views, like, and subscribe to this channel, uh, and you'll continue to get this information. And reach out. If you don't reach out, I can't help. So thanks again. Have a wonderful day.